Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Got tons of power coming in off these panels. We're probably already getting seven, 8,000 watts. It's cooling off here in North Central Florida. So we're gonna be able to get to some of these projects. Um, quick update on the hurricane. We did okay up here. They really took a beating down south. I'm thinking about those guys, man. They got it rough, but we did okay. Um, We've been busy renovating our house, so we've got our whole house torn up, kind of in the middle of that project, but hopefully we'll get that wrapped up, and then in about four weeks, I'm going to come back to this chicken coop. Pretty excited about this. I'm always waiting to work on this. It's been too hot, but another four weeks, I'll get back on this, build out those doors, the clean-out door, trim it all out, uh, put the hardware cloth and doors and things on the run. I'll get that thing in good shape so hopefully you'll come along on that journey i got some other stuff going on out here um looking at replacing this lead acid battery bank so i got 16 of the trojan l16 re's we're just starting year seven on these and they're still going strong there's there's nothing wrong with them i pull about 10 kilowatt hours a night out of this bank that's like 20 25 percent of the bank and it's been working great, but I got my eye on this um, server lithium iron phosphate rack mounted batteries. Um, so uh, what I'm thinking is I can get rid of this bank here, take this out and put the rack right there, hook it all up. We'll have 30 kilowatt hours and pretty much run this whole thing. We'll run everything all, all day, all night. So I think I can run a couple of air conditioners, maybe two or three air conditioners overnight with that bank. I run one overnight on this bank. But option B is I keep this in place. I hate to move this freezer because it fits in here so nice. <clears throat> but I could put that lithium bank rack right here in this space. Keep this in place. You know, wire everything to the lithium bank, but then maybe add a second inverter over here that runs off the old bank. And then I, that gives me a whole bunch of possibilities, right? I can, I can charge either one, go either way, uh, have another 20 kilowatt hour backup, you know, if I need it. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Keep the old one or I'm leaning towards keep it. <laughs> Plus, hey, it's EMP proof where the new ones aren't. All right, so also when it cools off, that's when I run my uh, harvest right more. I don't like to run it in the summer because it heats the room up and I just got to air condition it even more. Whereas in the winter, actually works in your favor, right? So it heats the room for you. You don't have to run the heater. So I got that going on. Let's go out to the shop and take a look. Got a couple of projects out there. All right, let's take a look in the shop, see what's going on out here. So you hear that sound? That's a driveway alarm. We've got these all over our property and we pair them up with video cameras. So if anything moves on our property, we know where you're at and we can see on the screen. So anyway, uh, I love this time of year when it cools off because I got so many projects I want to do and you can't do them in the summertime, it's way too hot. but. One of them is to do the French cleats on this wall. Get that all organized. And this little section here. So it'll be just like continuing what I started over here. So, you know, get this section done, get this section done. I'm gonna continue right on across until I get everything laid out and organized. So I don't know if I'll do that before the chicken coop or after, but we'll see. You can vote in the comments. <laughs> so in addition, you see that two foot space all the way across the top? That's kind of unused space. And I recently inherited um, some things from my dad. And he was an iron worker. He worked on uh, dam construction. He did um, you know, crane, rigging, a lot of rigging. He's got a lot of ropes and pulleys and tools and things and I don't want that stuff to sit in a box I want it you know on display up here so I'm thinking I'm going to sheet that out all the way across make it like a ledge and then just put all the stuff sort of 
across there. So it'll be up out of the way, but I can see it. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, that's my first tractor, by the way. That's, uh, I was probably four years old. My parents didn't throw anything out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that'll go up there and with some other stuff, you know. I think that'll be pretty cool. This is a fire extinguisher of my dad's. He was in the bucket brigade, like probably 1941 or two. Now this isn't from that age, but you know, the idea, put that up there. So anyway, that's kind of what, uh, what I got in mind and that's what I'll be working on going forward here. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one.